Surprise, surprise, it took me about a whole fucking week in order to be able to talk about the Borzo episode that came out a few days ago on Sunday, and, uh, to be granted, it's not like I was missing much to begin with, because all this really was was just the first episode of a miniature arc that I don't know if people are gonna like and care about, because just of what we've gotten in the first episode, it kind of seems like it's only going to be okay and mildly interesting enough to where you'll keep watching, but not so much to the point where they'll introduce, you know, new lore into the universe that makes things more interesting and makes characters have more character growth and have introduced new characters and they're interesting and they have their own character arc and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Just, I already kind of knew what I was getting myself into, but... Surprisingly, they kind of just throw you in into the whole thing, which I feel like Boruto um, just doesn't do nearly as often as they should, or they just don't really do it all that often, and they haven't done that in like a while, but they just kind of throw you into it, not really explaining too much other than uh, what it's visually telling you that Boruto and Mitsuki are going to um this castle hozuki castle i think it's i think it's called and they're just going to be in prison there and they won't be able to escape there because they were they essentially have a seal on them that if they try to leave the perimeter perimeters of the prison they're just going to get engulfed inside of a fiery blaze and they're going to get burnt right and it's pretty severe burns. They already had shown in the episode how devastating it could be just from one guy. But then they go ahead and they show off some exposition. And it's the fact that the main guy, like the the like the like top guy, who's like the overseer of all of the prison, right? He's in on this. But because he has to keep up like this whole like stature of being like this big guy or whatever... Uh, he can't necessarily release the specific person that they're looking for, which is, which is, uh, Kozuki. He was a part of a gang, and he stole money from the gang, and now he's hiding, but he also has information on the specific gang that he s stole from, and so they have to get information out of him, but he's in jail because he did robberies, and now he's there, and then he went to the medical ward, and now they had to go inside of there and get information, and then he ends up getting attacked by the end of the episode, and it just also, it all ends up becoming just less and less interesting. I think the most interesting things about the episode were just the interactions with Borto and Mitsuki with the other prisoners, and that was, even then, it wasn't even all that much. They're only there as, like, a side thing to make things only mildly interesting, I feel like, and... Yeah, that's essentially the episode. Not really much, all too much happened. And it just wasn't really all that interesting. It was just kind of set up for this thing that sets up for this thing that sets up for another thing that sets up for this guy who wants to kill this one other guy from previous before that has information that we need and we need to get him back, but we don't know if he's trustworthy, but he's this fucking pushover guy, so it kind of seems obvious that we'll be able to trust him, but he'll probably end up betraying you anyways... And yeah, you can almost sort of predict everything that's going to happen to begin with by this one episode alone. So, I don't know. I don't really know what to tell you. This episode was mildly okay. <laughs> it was incredibly average. I, I, I just, I was bored watching it the whole time. So, that's pretty much the episode, which means that's the review. If you liked it, then leave a like. If you didn't like it, then dislike it. I'll see you guys next one. Have a fantastic day. I'm out. Peace.